Are bananas or Oreo cookies better for your blood sugar levels? We're gonna find out. Today I will have only these delicious Oreo cookies for breakfast and tomorrow I will only have bananas. Nothing else, nothing more. I will be wearing a continuous glucose monitor which is a device that attached to my skin and measures my blood sugar 24 7 and we will see how my blood sugar changes every five minutes on my phone. We will check my blood sugar before I eat those cookies and those bananas and then we will be checking a regular regularly for a few hours after I eat those things. There is no doubt that these bad boys will both spike my blood glucose because they both have a lot of sugar. Natural sugar in bananas, processed sugar in Oreo cookies. So let's get right into it and find out which one is worse. Let's go. Day one and I'm having these delicious Oreos for breakfast. I still can't believe I'm eating this. My blood sugar before eating this was 6.6 .6 or 119. These cookies are freaking sweet. They are delicious, but I have to eat eight of them. Let's see if I can even do that. I still can't believe I'm eating this for breakfast. All right, this is the last one. A heavy breakfast. I would not recommend this to anyone. But immediately after eating those cookies, my blood sugar didn't spike that much. 30 minutes after eating them, it was at 5.8 or 105. And 60 minutes after eating them, it is at 7.7 7 or 138. Day two, I'm having these delicious, sweet, ripe bananas for breakfast. My blood sugar before eating the bananas was 5.8 or 104. And I'm having three of these medium-sized bananas. When I peeled them and put them on the scale, they weighed about 260 grams. And after eating these bananas, I feel a really good. Energetic, I definitely feel better, not as guilty as after eating those Oreos. But let's see what will happen to my blood sugar. 30 minutes after eating the bananas, my blood sugar was at 5.1 or 92. And 60 minutes after I ate the bananas, my blood sugar is at 7.2 or 130. We see that with bananas, the spike in my blood sugar is a little bit more and it seems to be a little bit more violent now around the one hour mark. And we will see what will happen in the next 60 minutes. Before we do that, I want to tell you that I'm a diabetic and that's one of the reasons why I'm wearing a continuous glucose monitor. I need to inject insulin externally with a syringe, insulin pen or an insulin pump whenever I eat a meal that contains sugar or carbohydrates in any form. Two packages of Oreo cookies I ate have a lot of of carbs, 60 grams to be exact, of which 33 grams is sugar. And I gave myself 3.5 units of fast acting insulin 15 minutes before I ate those cookies. 260 grams of ripe bananas has about 60 carbs. It's the same amount of carbs that the Oreo cookies had, by the way. And bananas have a little bit less sugar than the cookies, but the difference is not big. So I gave myself 3.5 units of fast acting insulin 15 minutes before these bananas, just like with the cookies. So you see that with bananas just like with the oreo cookies my blood sugar didn't spike 30 minutes after eating them but only one hour after eating them and i think that only shows the importance of timing of dosing the insulin because i gave myself insulin 15 minutes before i started eating and so that insulin managed to kick in even before the carbs in the food started impacting my blood sugar. Eight Oreo cookies not only have 60 carbs and 33 grams of refined sugar, they also have 20 grams of fat and 5 grams of protein. In total, the eight Oreo cookies I ate had 416 calories. Oreo cookies are heavily processed and full of refined sugar and refined fat. Not healthy or good for anybody. Bananas also have 60 carbs, of which 31 grams is natural sugar. The same amount of carbs and a very similar amount of sugar to Oreos. But that's where all the similarities end. Bananas have zero fat, zero protein, they are rich in potassium. And in total, the bananas I ate had 231 calories, almost two times less than Oreos. Definitely a point for bananas when it comes to nutritional value. Some people might say that you're not allowed to eat bananas when you're a diabetic, but don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. Now let's compare what happened to my blood sugars two hours after I ate each of those things. Because blood sugar obviously is one of the most important factors here in this test. Day one, two hours after I ate those cookies and my blood sugar is at 6.4 or 116 and it's actually trending flat. I almost can't believe that the cookies didn't spike the blood sugar more by now and that the blood sugar is moving almost perfectly after the meal. Of course, I took insulin before the meal, but still I would have expected 
expected a little bit more of a spike and it almost looks like cookies are a perfect blood sugar friendly food which I don't think is the case by the way. It's two hours after I ate those bananas and my blood sugar is at only 4.7. This is about 85 milligrams per deciliter. You see my blood sugar keeps going down right now. It's actually crashing and I think it's because I still have some active insulin on board in my body that I took before eating those bananas, but there's no more sugar from the bananas. The sugar from the bananas was already fully utilized by my body, I think. And so I might be going too low. That's why I'm gonna take a couple glucose tablets right now actually to avoid a low blood sugar situation, which might be dangerous for me. And I also think here is a big difference between the cookies and the bananas because the cookies have some fat content, actually quite a lot of fat content. And what that fat in the cookies does uh, causes the sugar to be released a little bit slower and the impact on the blood sugar levels is a little bit more long term after eating cookies and after eating bananas is a little bit more violently up and then violently down, which is exactly what happened right now. I'm a strong believer that when you have type 1, type 2 or any other form of diabetes and you really want to improve your blood sugars, you really need to pay attention to what you eat. Of course, this is just a one-off test. I would need to do it many times and have many different participants in this experiment for it to be scientifically valid experiment. But keep in mind I didn't do anything different on these two days except for eating a different breakfast. And that's why I think any differences in my blood sugars might be linked to my food choices that I make. Day one, three hours after eating those cookies and my blood sugar is at 5.3 or 96. This is much better than what I expected. It is still kind of flat moving down slowly there was just a gentle spike about one hour after I ate those cookies and since then my blood sugar has been slowly trending down to normal levels it seems that I nailed the insulin dose as well as timing of that insulin and full transparency it doesn't happen always like that I got a little bit lucky in this instance with bananas the things were a bit more dramatic my blood sugars now are fine at 5.3 or 96 but there was a little bit of a roller coaster my blood sugar spiking quite a bit one hour after eating the bananas and then dropping too low two hours after eating the bananas and I had to eat those glucose tablets so overall I managed to keep my blood sugars under control a little bit better with the cookies at least in this test and it surprised me because normally I struggle with cookies and normally with cookies what I see is my blood sugar rising up slowly for uh, several hours after eating that but it didn't happen this time by the way guys would you pick Oreo cookies over bananas let me know in the comments I personally pick bananas all day long they might spike my blood sugar a little bit faster but I think it's a reasonable trade-off for not pumping all those processed sugars and fats in my body. Am I saying you're not allowed to eat cookies as a diabetic? Absolutely not. In my opinion, and I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist, everything is about balance. And as long as you don't overdo it with the cookies and you keep your blood sugar in the ideal range, you should be able to eat whatever you want. Please let me know if you like this video format and what two meals or foods you'd like me to compare next time. If you want to chat about my other favorite food choices, join my Patreon community or book a coaching call with me. Links are down below. And by the way, there are seven superfoods that I think every diabetic should eat every day. Click here and watch this video to find out what they are. I will see you there. Ciao.